Rescue, take the helm and prudence. Be careful. No one's coming to rescue you. There's something that you need to take the helm to sort out yourself. Five of Cups. Tell us about this Five of Cups, please. So there's some lackful thinking that has us disempowered. I think of a yes or no answer question now. Your answer is? Hello, I'm Claire Louise Hay from BeHealing.com and this is today's Tarot for All Signs. Wednesday the 15th of May 2024. Hope you're doing well. I have a live show three times a week here on YouTube. It's called Psychic Cafe. In there I give one question readings amongst other things. Now you can book in for one of those one question readings on my website BeHealing.com at any time. Find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too. So let's have a look what's in the energies for everybody today. We've got the noble one, doing the right thing. Someone could be doing the right thing or you could be doing the right thing. Everyone's doing the right thing. Yay! <laughs> I also offer private readings from my website BeHealing.com. I get those out within 48 hours of your ordering them. You can find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too. Now we also have play. You could be feeling playful today. Tending the garden, getting stuff done, you know, and peace. Feeling at peace with yourself. It feels like good energies, good solid energies today. What else have we got? Rescue, take the helm and prudence. Be careful. No one's coming to rescue you. There's something that you need to take the helm to sort out yourself. Claim your power. Take care of something yourself. Don't be waiting for someone else to do it because you'll be waiting forever. And yeah, we don't want to take a victimhood stance and get ourselves further in the weeds, right? There's two ways in which to win a private reading with me every single month. The first way is by being a subscriber to my channel, clicking like on this video, then leaving a comment. That'll get you one entry in. You can do that as many times as you like on my readings throughout the month, including my shorts as well on all the videos. Second draw is for those of you that check out my pick a card reads. If you purchase those deeper dives to the pick a card reads, that'll get you an entry into the second prize draw. So good luck with winning those. Now we've got the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is about lackful thinking. Again, I'm connecting this with that energy of no one's coming to rescue you or someone else isn't going to sort something out for you. You need to do that. Um, you could have been in lackful thinking before and lackful thinking might have had you thinking, well, I can't sort this out. I've got to wish for it and then hope the universe brings someone that will sort it out for me. Hierophant says that there's some spiritual lessons to learn today. You're strong enough, though. Use your strength and your courage. And we've got the Seven of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. You could be protecting yourself by planting some kind of a seed, starting something off. It could to do could have something to do with your finances. So yeah, it could be um, getting in touch with someone to ask about a job, or you could be scheduling a meeting with your boss to talk about getting a pay raise or something like that. Five of Cups. Tell us about this Five of Cups, please. So there's some lackful thinking that has us disempowered. Ace of Inspiration. It's very different energy. That's being excited about something, fired up about something. It's at the start of something new. So I feel like there's a turnaround in energy today where you decide to take charge of something. And when you do, you can get really inspired to start something. It's like, I know how to, I know how to sort that out for myself. I just need to schedule a, a meeting with my, you know, send an email to my boss scheduling meeting with in the email saying, I want to talk about, um, promotion or pay raise or whatever to plant that seed so that it's going to be less awkward to kind of reveal it or something like that or or starting I don't know starting something new what's behind that abundance so there's something new that you can start fired up like I can I can do this myself and it's about your money yes wow so yeah very good energies for those of you that need a financial turnaround at the moment the Hierophant. The Hierophant, it says that there's spiritual lessons. Ten of Inspiration, the Four of Voices. It's about doing less. I mean, both of these cards are about doing less. The Four of Voices is the card of rest and relaxation. And the Ten of Inspiration 
putting burdens down. So um, the message here is to do work smarter, not harder. You know, to get more money, what we can do is just head down, you know, nose to the grindstone, is that the right saying? And, and just, you know, do more, but that is going to wear us out. It's not a long-term solution. This is, well, figure out a way to do less for more. <laughs> and the spiritual lessons involved. The universe will help you out to do that. Duality behind that. And so you might think, mm, and it might be just easier, you know, to just like work hard or work longer hours or something like that. It's just a temporary fix that though, it's not going to get you true abundance. There's an opportunity today to change your mindset, to see true abundance. Like how, how can I work less and do more? How can I work smarter? How can I leverage the things that I do so well to serve more people, reach more people or um, perhaps to um, yeah, help more people, you know, do once help, doing one thing, helping many people. Like that's why I wrote my books, you know, is like, okay, I could do one, I can do one-on-one -on -one reading in which case you book it in, I do the reading for you and it only go and it only helps you. Or I could write a book and I do that once and then it helps many people, you know, it's that kind of thing. Not that writing books is a good financial thing to do because it, you really don't get very much for that at all. Strength and the seven of inspiration. So there's a need to protect yourself, right? There is a need to protect yourself and do it for yourself. And you're strong enough to do that. Strong, courageous, discernment and movement into balance. Get yourself into a balanced. So don't get yourself out of balance to do this. You need to protect yourself while you're doing it so that you remain strong. The Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. And so you're planting a seed, starting something off. Two materials with balance, remaining in balance. And the universe is going to help you out. Yeah, I already got that message. So pretty much the cards are saying that I've already said everything that they wanted me to say, which is pretty cool. Job well done. Pat on the back with my guides. So this is going to lead to big change. And you feeling really good as well. A sexual energy card doesn't have to be sexual energy. It could just have you fired up, you know? Motivated, fired up. Similar kind of an energy. Could be getting creative as well too. Okay, what about our love lives? What is going on in our love lives? Interesting that there's been more like financial readings lately you know the guys seem to go through phases <laughs> hop on and on and on about relationships for a while and then it's like oh let's focus on money now Brenda cats in the house with us today Got a heat wave here in Thailand at the moment. It's so very hot and we haven't had rain for a long time either. Okay, love lives. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So, looking out for a new path. Perhaps a new person. Go wild and cool your emotions. <laughs> Go wild, but not that wild. <laughs> oh, that's funny. God's hilarious sometimes. Okay, what else? Hope and friendship. You might be hoping that friendship turns into something else, or you could be hoping that friends um, match you up with someone else. What else? Loneliness. Loneliness could have you trying to take action on love life. And self-consciousness of infidelity. Something about you being unfaithful or the times that you've... It could be not infidelity. It could be like being unfaithful to yourself. What I mean by that is where, where you have put someone else first in a relationship and you wish you hadn't done that. Self-love is so very important. And when we're in a relationship. Of course, it's important to love the other person, but not at the detriment of ourselves, right? 
there's that balance to keep the self-love going you could be quite conscious of that so thinking on that mm, what else in the energies today oh, I didn't pull these cards out yesterday I just realized what else have we got today we've got goldfish increase in material wealth or spiritual growth it's both really but material wealth for sure today dagger fear worry tense situation so that could be what we, you know it could be fear and you could be realizing oh, i've got this like focus i've got this fear around money i need to sort it out you know money isn't the root of happiness we know that right but i'll tell you what it's so hard to be happy without it because it's so stressful it's so stressful unless your finances are sorted Tulip, great passion. So once you figure something out, I think you're going to be passionate about it, about moving forward. And we've got spiritual love as well. Some of you are waiting for that special spiritual love to come in. So think of a yes or no answer question because I've got a red and a green crystal in this bag. I'm going to pull one of them out very shortly for our answer. But this is just a bit of fun because this is a general reading, not a personal reading. If you want me to pull crystals out of my bag, cards out of my decks for specific questions that you've got, you can do one of two things. You can book in for one of my one question readings on my website, behealing.com. Find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too. Or if you want more information, if you want great detail, if you've got a few questions to ask, then you can book in for one of my private readings. You'll find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too. How about to deal with these energies? So you're happily ever after. And I'm getting a message to get on with it now. Get on with your happily ever after. Like take the helm make yourself happy it's like self-love to the next level make your dream life for yourself that's your job to do that that's where your superpower is and the universe is going to help you but yeah you're happily ever after your heart truly being happy you're being fulfilled get about it <laughs> so i think of a yes or no answer question now your answer is no don't do it says the ruby thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click like before you click off down there click that subscribe button if you're new leave a comment that'll get you an entry into that prize draw for a free reading with me at the end of the month i do one of these today's tarot every single day of the year i go live three times a week in my psychic cafe show come along sometime would love to get to know you drink coffee with you and perhaps read for you too and i also make three love pick a card reads a week as well you can find one of those right there right now and you can watch that next if you want well have the best day ever and i'll see you tomorrow bye